What is going on guys, DBG here, in this video we are going to be doing an interactive challenge because 2k17 is absolutely dead. I will be getting another squad builder up today, but I'm trying to do something different on this channel. 2k is absolutely dead, and if I keep uploading 2k, my views are just going to keep going down and down and down because why would anyone want to watch 2k17? I'll be obviously uploading the NBA Live demo tomorrow, once that comes out, but anyway, now let's get into it. In this video we are going to be doing an interactive challenge inside the mind of Lonzo Ball. I actually haven't done this, I want to do this for the video. As soon as I kind of saw what it was kind of half about, I decided screw it, I'm doing this for a video. So anyway, now let's get into it. Sorry, I can't, for some reason, I don't know why it is with OBS, I can't like use headphones, otherwise the sound doesn't come out. So I'm gonna try block the sound. You can't really see my hands kind of covering the mic. So hopefully there's not too much like echo. Obviously hearing the sound twice, I'll try stop that. So anyway, now let's get on to the video. Uh, so basically, I created the interactive series to break down players and the decisions they make within games. And I thought Lonzo would be a great player to do after his performance in Summer League. So I've picked out six Lonzo clips to highlight his decision making and how he reads the defense. And what I'll do is I'll pause the video right as he's about to make a critical decision. And then I'll give you guys a few options as to what he should do. And then I'll break down why his decision was the right decision. And it's very simple. You guys will figure it out. Uh, and I've divided it up into a few categories of decision making. So let's hop right into this first clip. So in these first three clips, we're going to look at how Lonzo makes his reads in the pick and roll. So in this first clip here in a pick and roll against Oregon, you're going to see Lonzo trying to turn the corner, but the big man is going to show. And that's going to leave him with a couple of possible options here. So as Anibogu comes up and sets the screen, and then the Jordan Bell, the big man, shows, what should Lonzo do here, guys? Should he pass it to Anibogu on the corner. roll, or should he kick it to corner, TJ, TJ Leaf, Leaf in the corner? What do you guys think? I'm going to give you about TJ five Leaf. seconds to decide here. and then we're Okay, gonna... so I'm going to pause and explain. <laughs> so as you can see here, <coughs> sorry about coughing. The defender is obviously going to cover the layup. The layup, if the defender stays on TJ Leaf, it's wide open. The weak side defender does not look like he's helping in. So the pass to TJ Leaf is definitely the right option there. Because if, even if he gave it inside and kick out, they'll be able to recover. And the defender's not expecting any player to throw that pass. So definitely the pass to TJ Leaf. I could be wrong though. But so I don't know why I'm saying it's so confident. i break down how he made his decision. All right, I had a little bit of time. TJ Leaf. So even though TJ Leaf misses this shot here, it was absolutely the right decision by Lonzo. So let's break down why. So as Jordan Bell shows on this pick and roll, Lonzo's going to recognize that there's a two on one with Anubogu and Leaf versus the weak side defender. So as the defender lingers slightly to the right, it's an easy decision for Lonzo to dish it out to TJ Leaf who then misses the open shot, but definitely the right decision here. One more time in full like, speed. I get I get the way he said the defender lingers to the right who made the pass. Lonzo had already decided his decision based on what he predicted. <coughs> Sorry, I'm struggling to speak. Based on what he predicted the defender was gonna do. Unbelievable decision making. He didn't see that the defender moved in. He threw that pass before the defender moved in knowing exactly what he was going to do. As the defender lingers to the right, Lonzo reads it instantly. Really smart move by him. Just an unfortunate miss by Leaf. But uh, let's hop into the next couple clips here. In these two, we're going to look at the same play both times. It's called Horns Lift. And it's basically just going to be in a Horns formation where there's going to be a pick and roll out top. And one big man is going to dive to the basket while the other pops out to the three-point line. And the defense in these two plays is going to try and defend it two different ways. So look at how Lonzo makes his decisions. So uh, in this first clip, Anubogu is going to set the screen and roll to the basket. And Lonzo has two options here. So should he skirt by the big man and try to lay it up right now? Or should he find a way to get it to Ike Anubogu? Uh, let me know lay what you up. think. I'll give you a few seconds to like, this is very, Like this is very, very tough. I'm going to pause it here. I'm explaining my reasoning. Like that's a tough, very tough pass to make. Um, you see the weak side defender number four, even if that pass is made by Lonzo Ball, unless it's a wide open dunk for the center, number four can definitely help on that, but it does leave a shooter open in the corner. Like, uh, this is tough. I'm gonna say that he takes the layup. If definitely if this was a player like Markel Fultz, 
it will be a layup every time, but uh, I'm gonna say layup. Like, it's a very, this is a very, very tough one. Really nice alley oh, okay. of Bogu here, so let's- Okay, I was wrong. That was a serious, serious play right there. Break down how Lonzo made his decision, so. As he's coming off the screen here, Markel Fultz is going to go over and chase, leaving his big man in space trying to, to defend both Lonzo and Anibogu. So as he's trying to tread water, Lonzo's lo looking for him to commit either way, and then as soon as he commits to guarding Lonzo, he recognizes that he can dish it to Anibogu with no problem at all. Lonzo so good. Lonzo is so and good. One more time here, guys. Look at when Lonzo makes his decision. So as he comes around the screen, makes a begging the big man to commit, and then as soon as he opens his body up to yeah, Lonzo, that's ignoring just... on it. Both, Lonzo so good. Why don't bomb. people think so he's good? Let's he's move so on to good. part two of Horn's lift here, guys. And this time, the big man is going to show around the screen. So what do you think Lonzo should do? Should he hit Anibogu on the roll here? Should he p pass it out to Golaman on the pop? Or should he kick it to Hamilton in the corner? If you, you can, got? if he can make that corner pass, it's hit the corner because obviously the guy um, he has to cover the basket, the weak side defender, so he's gonna help in. If he can throw that skip pass to the weak side, that is the like ideal pass to throw because that defender has to step in to the middle because of the center. And even if the ball is skipped. Who's gonna recover? If the defender comes back out, then he all the shooter has to do is dump it in for a layup. Definitely to skip. You guys pass. think I'll give you five seconds to decide here? All right. So again, this time Lonzo's teammates let him down, but let's break down where his decision came. Okay. From. So we didn't see we didn't see it further on in that clip. The big man so let's shows see. that's gonna leave the lift defender in a two-on-one -on -one situation having to make a decision. Uh, and then as the defender stunts right ever so slightly. Like this is like, this is a kind of a hard decision to say what he should do. Because in this picture right here, number 14 is being guarded slightly. Lonzo reads well, not tight, but slightly guarded. To goal but like on. half a second after the clip stops, he runs away and Lonzo makes the right pass. So like, it's very difficult to say what Lonzo should do if we don't know what the defender is doing like. On the but Lonzo is way, Again, way smarter than me, so that's a great, as the great big pass man shows on the screen. That's going to leave Golaman's defender in a two on one situation, and then as soon as he stunts to the right, Lonzo rifles the pass. What? Why did he help strong side though? Like, well, kind of one pass away. Like, why? Why did his man help? That's just dumb defense. Like, great offense by Lonzo, but that's just dumb defense. It's over to Golamon. So, really smart decision there. But now let's look at how Lonzo reads help defense. So, in this clip here, Lonzo is going to be attacking a closeout here, and he's going to draw some help from Thomas Welsh's man and be left with a few options here. So, first, do you guys think he should pass it to Thomas Welsh since his man just helped off? Do you think he should dish it to TJ Leaf, maybe on a lob? Or do you think he should kick it to Aaron Holliday in the corner? Um, not TJ Leaf. Well, no, not TJ Leaf. Just my guess. Um, 40. I don't know. If he could shoot the mid range shot and he catches it there, he could hit it. But there, number three could kind of help down a little bit. Um,. I, ass I assume the corner skip pass is the best shot there. I assume it has to I'll be the corner. Five seconds to make has decision. to be the corner. Yeah. Hopefully you guys figured out that passing to Aaron Holiday was the right decision here. And even though he misses this three, Ooh, let's nice look at why it was the right decision. So coming out of attacking this closeout here. Yeah, like Curdy's he's gone into help Thomas way Walsh's like man. So that would be the obvious oh, there's pass, no point helping but that far. TJ Leaf's man is in perfect position to help. So he's going to help the helper over there. And then Aaron Holiday's man is going to execute a third level of help, helping on to TJ Leaf. And that leaves Aaron Holiday as the man who's wide open and the one who can punish the defense here. And notice here, guys, how Lonzo was able to read all three levels of help, and the defender there, Elijah Stewart, actually That's makes a, a great recovery back. on Holiday. That is a but sick Lonzo's pull back. able to get the exclamation point with the putback dunk. But uh, let's move on here, guys. In parts five and six, we're going to look at finishing versus dump off passes at the basket. All right. So so far, 
We've so done gonna... four. We've got two right, two wrong. Let's see if we can get these last two right. Look at how he tries to finish against big men here. Uh, and this time coming out of the pick and roll, he's going to have a couple of options. So given this position right here, guys, do you think he should try to finish or should he try and hit Leaf maybe on a lob, maybe on a bounce pass? Either way, what do you think he should try and Leaf. do here? Leaf. Like, you've got, a, you've got a shot blocker and Leaf's got a seal. Leaf. Oh, fair play to him. Great finish right there. So this is actually a great example for all you young guards out there to try and read a big man when attacking the basket. So here the shot blocker tries to set the contact point instead of meeting Lonzo at the top. That gives Lonzo the freedom to glide by him and maneuver around him at the basket. That's a nice so finish. Really, really That's a smart really nice finish. There by Lonzo to recognize that he can get around the big man instead of being met at the top. Like, there are things you don't even really think about. Like, even if you play basketball, like, that's just different level IQ from Lonzo. All right, last clip here, guys. So, this time, again, coming out of the pick and roll, what do you think he should do? Is this a dump, dump off, off situation, or is this one where he can finish? Wait, so, like, we, do don't, we don't know. We need to see what this guy does in the next half a second. If he takes a step in, and it all depends on what his center is doing. If he takes a step in and his center takes a step in there, it's an obvious dump off. But if he stays right there, it's a finish. Like, we don't know right now. We can't make a decision, like, proper decision based on this. What do you guys think? I'll pause it here and let you decide. I'm guessing dump off because I assume the defender is going to step into him. Dump off. Serious pass. Serious pass. So why did Lonzo dump this one off? Well, unlike in the previous clip, the shot blocker waits for Lonzo to jump so he can meet him at the top. And that's important for a couple of reasons, not only because it means he might be able to block Lonzo's shot, but also because since he jumps later, it's going to be even more Lonzo's difficult for him so to recover good. on the dump off, meaning He's the dump so off was good. absolutely the right decision. So. so anyway, that's the video. We got three of them right, three of them wrong. No way do we read the game as well as Lonzo Ball. And apart from LeBron James, is probably known in the world that reads the game as well as Lonzo Ball. Lonzo Ball is absolutely incredible. Anyone who's saying he's not, that he's going to be a bust, just has never watched him play and is just basing that off their opinion of LeVar Ball. So anyway, that's the video. Obviously, this is something completely different, but NBA 2K17, my team, is pretty much dead and the live demo is not out yet, so I've got to put up something to fill the time. So anyway, that's the video. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.